palliative care is a service that we use very frequently in lung cancer care. And any patient who's got a symptom of any kind, when we talk about managing it or helping them managing it, we're actually talking about palliating it. Because to palliate means to help the symptom or to improve the symptom. Well, besides curative surgery where we try to remove the tumour altogether, um, we do do what's called palliative surgery. And the aim of the palliative surgery is in patients that we can't necessarily cure, we want to either relieve symptoms they, they have that are very disturbing or um, we want to improve their quality of life by improving their ability to breathe, for example. We use chemotherapy to try and shrink the cancer down as much as possible and by doing that hopefully improve the person's symptoms and their quality of life. And there have been a number of studies that have been done in patients with advanced lung cancer who've actually shown that their quality of life overall is bad, better if they have chemotherapy because their symptoms are improved. Radiotherapy can be used with the intent of curing the cancer, however it can play a very useful role in relieving the symptoms that may occur, for example, if it's uh, affecting the bone and causing pain or other organs where it may be causing symptoms of pressure and discomfort. We call this treatment palliative radiation. And one day, the doctor explained for a pain doctor, uh, they say because the size of the, the lump, they shrunk. When they shrunk, they're not touch in my nerve system. So the pain, they reduce uh, with the time, with the uh, the more uh, time radiotherapy treatment, the less pain you get. So that, that, that's the bad thing. So a general practitioner is really very well placed to utilise a lot of community aids and facilities to improve the quality of life for patients and their families. And specifically with symptoms, with pain, nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath, most general practitioners are quite able to handle patients at home. And there are a number of ways that patients with lung cancer need palliative care. They can be referred to their local community palliative care to assist the healthcare team in the hospital, manage their symptoms back in their home and back in their community. And they form an important link between the patient, the family and the hospital care team. I think it's very important for patients to try and identify one doctor, one general practitioner as their mentor, their GP, early on in the illness. So they develop a relationship, the, the doctor knows about the patient, the patient learns to trust the doctor, and it makes it so much easier to control all of their illness. As some people unfortunately progress with their illness, and pain, other symptoms can become difficult to control and the general practitioner can then ring palliative medicine consultants to get advice but again most symptoms can be controlled in the community. And the great thing about a community palliative care service is there are 24-7 contact that the patient or the family can ring on a public holiday weekend, overnight or when the rest of the team aren't around.